Hello everybody, Cowboy Vine here. Well, it's time to do another Cobra review. We're talking about stuff from the 2011 G.I. Joe convention, aka JoeCon. Yep. The I'm doing my first souvenir set and not and not doing any of the figures from the loose box set. Not yet anyway. Well, this is my first for the 2011 convention. Anyway, uh, this year's convention was in Orlando, Florida. At Disney World. Yeah, I didn't go. But the convention's theme and aspects come from Brazil. Actually, many of the named hierarchy characters in the set, and actually a few Geo members, I believe, are all from Brazil. The Brazilian G.I. Joe set, I believe, that was called Commandos, or something? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, it was from Brazil, I know that much for sure. But let's talk about this. I've left in the bag mostly to show that it's from the convention set, souvenir set. This, this, this year's convention set is Python Patrol Specialist. We get two, keyword being two, Figures that are part of Cobra's Python Patrol and are kind of specialists in their branches. This should be really cool. Um, and also having Nurtures being, being part of Python Patrol first is actually a very, very nice thing. Unlike other characters like well, Major Blood and uh, let's see, Copperhead. But yeah, this is this is really awesome. Um, as you can see, I still have it in the bag. I haven't opened it yet, but I will open it. Just wanted to show the in bag. File cards seem long, so I need to get this done now. Looks really cool. Uh, let me open this up, and we'll get to the review. Give me a second. Alright people, I've opened up them, and let's see, who should we start off with? Um... Ah, we'll start with Lightning. I just want to say, both these figures, when I first saw them, I thought, why are G.I. Joe members wearing Python Patrol gear? And when, it was, when I finally realized that these guys are actually, pot, are actually Cobras. I was saying, wow, that is really surprising. Anyway, here's our first character, Lightning. Fall card will explain everything, but let's get to it. His head moves up and down slightly, but turns a full 360, kind of stiff at the second. His arms move about this far up, up and down, turns a full 360, bend a knee, elbow, Turns a full 360. The hands turn a full 360. Waist moves up and down. Turns a full 360. Legs move up. Back. Sideways. Bend at two points in the kneecap. Feet pivot up and down slightly and turn a full 360. On his arms he has the Python Patrol logo on it and the Cobra symbol on the other. It's kind of hard to see on his uniform but it's a lot easier to see it on the other on the other guy, Trigger. He comes with a few accessories these being a helmet which I'm trying to get on right. There you go. He also comes with a sniper rifle. This thing's freaking huge and I don't believe I've ever seen this one before. And, and a knife.
And of course he comes with a stand that says his name. Anyway, his file card reads, <clears throat> and here it is by the way. For some reason the pictures on these guys are, you know, for the, you know, the little pictures seems very, very, very blurry for some reason. I don't get that, but whatever. <clears throat> As it reads, Python Patrol Boat Pilot. Go name Lightning, which is translated from Portuguese to be um, Rel um, um, Pargo. I don't know. Anyway, file name unknown. Primary military specialty? High speed weapon dr vehicle driver. Second primary military specialist? Ordinate specialist. First place unknown. Guessing Portugal, I guess. I'm not Portugal. <laughs> Brazil, probably. Just thinking. Anyway. Lightning. Lightning has always been a thrill seeker, particularly with any high speed vehicles he can get his hands on. He first made a name for himself both as a stunt motorcyclist in in the Globe of Death cage act. He is also able to shoot moving targets at high speeds. His skills immediately caught the caught the eye of the G.I. Joe team, but he could not control his reckless behavior and was expelled. This immediately made him a made him a candidate for Cobra where he was free to be as dangerous as he desired. His, abilities, his ability to perform so well at, at such high speeds enabled him to join Python Patrol, where quick strikes are required to maintain the team's stealthy efficiency. <clears throat> the Python Patrol water moccasin has proven to be his favorite thrill ride, as it is not only fast, but will land him in piranha-infested waters with one flip. <clears throat> lucky for both, lucky for both Lightning and his gunner Trigger, which is the other guy. He is the most. He is more talented than he is reckless. Ironically, he does not require Python Python camouflage on his craft as he considers it an ambush craft, not a stealth one. Its blood red color, like some of the poisonous creatures in the Brazilian jungle, warns his targets of, of the danger they are about to face. And is he dangerous enough to deter G.I. Joe when they come searching for their missing team member? His quote reads, Get ready for lightning to strike. That is pretty cool. Alright, now we got the Python Patrol Sniper, Trigger. Let's see, Python Patrol logo there, Cobra symbol there. More of the Python Patrol military garb. Anyway, his head moves up and down, turns up full 360. By the way, this is his face. His arms move about this far up. Bend up and down, turn a full 360. Bend at the elbow, turns a full 360. Hands turn a three, full 360, of course. Waist moves up and down and turns full 360, but the jacket does hinder the articulation and can be taken off, though. Legs move about this far up, this far back, side to side. Bend at two points of the kneecaps. Feet pivot up and down and turn to full 360. His accessories are a helmet, which is similar to Lightning's. A assault rifle. Which is pretty big. As soon as I can actually get this in his hand, I'll we'll show you. Th 
There we go. A pistol, which put, I'm going to put in his pouch, his, host, his holster, and a knife. Similar to, to lightning. He also comes with a cover stand. Let's read his file card. <clears throat> Python Patrol Sniper. Codename Trigger. Actual name in Portuguese is Gat Gatelo. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing trigger. <clears throat> File name unknown, primary military specialty, tactical weapons specialist, secondary uh, computer technology, birthplace unknown, still Brazil probably. Trigger grew up, grew up playing video games where he was the animal of the arcade and had made such fast reflexes that he consistently beat all the video game scores. However, Fantasy, fantasy simulations were not enough, so he joined he joined Cobra as soon as he learned of the criminal organization. Hoping to upgrade to live targets, he maintained his un, unbelievable accuracy with all firearms in their arsenal, and was even able to fire standard issue semi-automatic weapons with the same fire rate as a machine gun. That's pretty good. However, he found the sniper rifle to be the most challenging, bringing targets visibly up close and personal. His weapon skills made him a perfect candidate for Python Patrol, and his ability to take out enemies quickly helped maintain the team's stealth. He, he, also, he also has proven to be a natural gunner aboard the Python Patrol Water Moccasin, either using the craft's turret or his own sniper rifle, where he is an uncanny shot. Even during hairpin turns on a choppy river, on choppy rivers, though he seems antisocial, he remarkably bolsters by his bolstered by his colleague Lightning as they have saved each other's lives many times on treacherous rivers. However, can, he, can all their combined skills keep their secret waterways G.I. Joe free? His quote reads, locked and loaded on target. What do I have to say about this? This is an awesome set. This, mo this set's mostly referred to as with the the convention's special wa water moccasin, which is with the which was a su another souvenir set, so these two figures would go with that. Probably my kind of only biggest problem is that trigger comes with a assault rifle and lightning comes with a sniper rifle. Probably just switch the weapons with those guys, but and that be it. Um, the face molds are pretty new looking to me, and they're very nice. I really do like the 25th anniversary style theme. It's very nice. Two new characters and two new members of Python Patrol, which is completely and utterly awesome. If you guys see the, these guys on eBay, I highly re recommend you picking these up, because these are Joe-Con exclusives. They're limited to 500. Still, that, that sounds like a lot, but it's technically not. So, my advice, go get them if you see them. Anyway, I'm Catboy Van, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.